It's not unique to the director role, but serving at camp in general has definitely taught me to depend on God in everything I do. Um, being a director has also taught me to uh, make sure I'm depending on others, that I'm not trying to do everything myself. My name is Jared. It's Colton Penner. It's Jesse Dukes. David Archibald. Garrett Robertson. I have been coming to Camp Bob as either camper or staff since 2016. I started going to camp in 2017, which was six years ago. Uh, my first year of camp was in 2011. I have been coming to Camp Bob since 2004. I decided to be a director because a couple of years ago, um, some of the some of my friends had started directing, and God was like, "You need to go and do that." So I followed His call, and I went, and I love it. I really like the level of intentionality that is sort of inherently placed upon you as you are put in the director position that is just not present in the same way in other positions. Uh, I think there are a few more rewarding jobs than working at a summer camp. I love seeing the joy in kids' eyes when they're worshiping and looking at just that happiness brought by God. I love the community. I love how God surrounds you in every way, shape, and form. I would just say the community of camp, the the family bondedness that we all we all grow together as a consistent group, and we learn how to how to work with each other even when it's not easy. It has taught me to be very intentional in how I engage in conversations with people. I think I've learned a lot of interpersonal skills and uh, a lot of how to work and grow as a team. It's taught me a lot of patience um, and to have grace for the people around me and the people I work with. Um, and the ability to make super deep relationships has always been something that I really love about being a director. I really like the community. I really like um, our mission and what we're here to do. Um, honestly, it's how I'm able to connect with God here. Um, it's unlike any other place that I've experienced in that way. Um, I remember in my first CLT uh, playing Dutch Blitz with the directors in the chalet, and that was just a super fun time, all of us getting really into it. Uh, some of us getting a little bit heated, but all having, all, ha all having lots of fun. One of my leaders was canoeing, and he was solo canoeing, but he was canoeing with the gunnel of the canoe, like two inches to the water, and I was looked at my other leader, and I'm like, we should do that. And then he's like, no, we shouldn't. I'm like, yes, we should. And he's like, okay, are you okay getting soaked? I'm like, yep. And so we went, and we did it, and we did it for like five seconds, and then uh, let's just say we were no longer doing that. One of my favorite memories from camp was when I, when I was a camper, I first started coming to camp and the moment I sat down at my table, I felt instantly like I was at home. And I hope to bring that to the CLTs that I work with and to the people that work here and maybe they will pass it down to campers. Encountering God through encountering people. Good. I can't believe we love God, we love each other, and <laughs> have fun. It's, it's kind of one of the essentials to summer camp. You don't go to a summer camp not to have fun. It's kind of assumed it's going to be a fun time. And then, yeah, be outside, love nature. We are in the, <laughs> as we orientate you at the beginning of the week, we are in the middle of nowhere. And I think there's few better places to have a summer camp than in the middle of nowhere. Possibly the closest you'll get to Narnia in this world. We're here to teach kids about God and um, lead them in encounters to God through the wonderful, wonderful wilderness.